Hey friends, Lindsay Bowden here. And in this quick tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to upload a PDF document into Google Slides. So I have a PDF document here. These are my factoring notes and worksheets. And that's a very big document it has 18 pages. And I want to upload this into Google Slides for my students so that they can complete it and submit it to me in Google Classroom. So there's no way to import a PDF directly into Google Slides. You can import a PowerPoint by going to import slides, but if you try to import a PDF, it's gonna say file type not supported. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my Google Slides presentation ready for this size paper, which is letter size. So I'm going to delete these text boxes and I'm going to change the slide size by going to file page setup, custom, eight and a half by 11 inches. All right, I'm gonna name this factory notes and worksheets. All right, so now my Google Slides presentation is ready. Now I need to convert my PDF and I'm gonna actually convert it into images. So I'm gonna go to smallpdf.com. I love this website. It's great if you're working with PDFs on a regular basis. Now there are other ways to convert a PDF to images, but this is fast and easy and I like it because everyone can use it and it's free. Okay, so I'm gonna select PDF to JPEG. I'm gonna choose my file and I'm going to import it. Now you can convert a PDF into a PowerPoint, but if you have different fonts or clip art, it's not going to look right when you convert it. And it's probably against most terms of use if you purchased it on like Teachers Pay Teachers. Okay, so I'm gonna convert entire pages. And while that is processing, I'm going to go ahead and look at my document and see what pages I want. So of course I don't want the teacher tips for the students. So you may want to include the notes and I'm going to show you how to add little text boxes here so that students can fill in the blank on their computer. And then you can also even add the practice and just students will write in their answer. Now they have to have a way to do equations and I know that's difficult for some students depending on the add-ons they have for Google Slides. So you could just upload this and then say, submit a piece of paper with your work, submit a picture of that for your assignment. Okay, so I have all of them converted now to pictures. I'm going to download this zip file. I'm going to open it and put it on my desktop. If you're on a PC, you may have to right click and then extract all to open it. Okay, so now I'm going to choose the images that I want. So let me make this bigger so we can see. So like I said, I definitely don't need the teacher tips. So I'm going to just move that to trash. But let's just say I want all of these other ones in my Google Slides presentation. All right, so I'm gonna go back to Google Slides. And there is an add-on where you can upload multiple pictures at one time. So if you just have one picture you wanna upload, I'll show you how to do that. You go to background, choose image, and then you just choose the image that you want. And the reason you don't want to just drag and drop it is because students can move it around and they can delete it. But if it's the background, students will not be able to move it or delete it. Okay, so I definitely don't want to have to do that for each individual page. I have 17 pages over here. so. I can do them all in one step using an add-on called Slides Toolbox. So you just go to Add-ons, Get Add-ons, and search for Slides Toolbox. I've already um, downloaded it, so I'm going to open it. I'm going to go to Import Tools, Create Slides from Images. Okay, so I want a single image. I just want one image per slide and I want to set it as the background. All right, so I'm going to upload. And I want all of these except that first one because I've already done that one. And then upload. And it will put each individual picture on a new slide for you. 
It may take it just a second, but trust me, this is way faster than doing each individual one. All right. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was about to say, I know I did it. Okay, there we go. So it just takes it a second. So give it a second. <laughs> Don't be impatient like me. Okay, so here we go. Here is all of our slides over here. And then you can go in and add text boxes. So let's see, text box. So students can type as you go over these notes, you know, on a video. And you can even put um, type here so they know that there's a text box there. And you can change, you know, the font, the size, and then you can also do that on your worksheets. Now they will have to have for this particular worksheet, some type of add on. I like this one and you can insert math, but that is how you insert a PDF into Google Sites, and then you can share it with your students via a link or in Google Classroom. I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching.